Hi, this is Tony Ling. Uh, welcome to my video. Last year, uh, Dr. Fauci he denied the allegation that his organization NIH support gain of the function research uh, in Wuhan in China. However, according to the NIH website, an organization called Eco Health Alliance, uh, they did receive the funding from NIH and they did a lot of uh, experiment about the coronavirus in Wuhan Institute of Biology. Today in this video, I'm going to uh, show you the original document uh, from the Eco Health Alliance. I'll show you exactly what kind of experiment that they're doing with the coronavirus. First, uh, let me show you this link from the official NIH website. As always, I'll include the link for you in case you want to verify this information yourself. And uh, here it says uh, that on the title, SARS-CoV-2 and NIAID supported bet coronavirus research. So an analysis of uh, evolutionary distance of SARS-CoV-2 and bat coronavirus. Study under the NIH supported research grant to EcoHealth Alliance. The research that NIH approved uh, under the grant to EcoHealth Alliance uh, with a subword to the Wuhan Institute of Biology in Wuhan. China sought to understand how animal coronavirus, especially bat coronavirus, evolved naturally in the environment have the potential to become the transmissible to the human population. According to this, um, EcoHealth Alliance, they did receive the funding from NIH and they did the experiment about these uh, coronaviruses in the Wuhan Institute of Biology. So now uh, let me show you this original document uh, from this organization EcoHealth Alliance. And again, I'll include the link for you. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is uh, from the government official website from the Republican uh, Oversight.house.gov. This document uh, is uh, EcoHealth Alliance uh, because uh, they received the grant from the NIH. So uh, every year they need to report to the NIH exactly what kind of uh, experiment they're doing uh, in Wuhan and so that uh, they can continue to receive the grant. You can see the title of this document, Understanding the Risk of Bad Coronavirus Emergence. And uh, here is the grant number. Uh, and uh, also, uh, you can see the recipient organization is EcoHealth Alliance. This is a very long document. Let me show you directly to the page uh, to show you exactly what kind of uh, experiment uh, they're doing in the Wuhan Institute of Biology in China. So if you go to page 15, so here it says uh, 3.1 in vivo infection of human ACE2 uh, receptor expressing mice uh, with SARS-CoV uh, as protein variant. So uh, in vivo means uh, they are doing the experiment uh, on the live animal. And the uh, human ACE2, this receptor is from the human cell, which means uh, the mice they use in this uh, experiment, uh, they have the human uh, ACE2 receptor uh, in these uh, mice uh, cell. The reason why the SARS-CoV-2 is so infectious uh, is because uh, the structure of the spike protein, uh, they are very easy to bind to the human uh, cell receptor ACE2. That is why the SARS-CoV-2 is so infectious. So this experiment is highly related to this pandemic. So in year five, we continue to in vivo infection experiment of diverse uh, bat SARS-CoV-2 uh, um, transgenetic 
mice expressing the human or ACE2 receptor. Mice were infected with four strains of the SARS-CoV with different S protein, including the full length of a recombinant uh, virus of the SARS-CoV uh, WIV1 and three chimeric uh, viruses with the backbone of the WIV1 and S protein of this SHC uh, Z14 and WIV16 and RS4231 uh, uh, respectively. So uh, in English, they are using the genetic material uh, from the different coronavirus and they uh, modify that and uh, recombine them together to create a new kind of virus. Pathogenicity of the four uh, SARS-CoV uh, was evaluated by recording the survival rate of the challenged mice in a two-week course. All of the four SARS cov caused the lethal infection in HACE2 transgenetic mice. But the mortality rate varied among the four groups of the infected mice. 14 days of post infection, five out of seven mice infected with WIV1 remained alive. So 71.4% remained alive why only two of the eight mice are infected with this uh, virus survive only 25 percent survive so as you can see when they use the uh, genetic material from the different coronavirus uh, to build a new kind of the virus they found that some of these uh, new virus uh, they are more infectious than the other and some are more lethal than the other and uh, I'm not going to discuss uh, whether this is a gain of the function research because uh, Dr. Fauci uh, he likes to play with the word uh, to say huh, this is not a gain of function research yeah, uh, because uh, we are uh, doing uh, we are doing the experiment with the mice and uh, this is not a human being however uh, you're using uh, you play with the genetic with a different kind of coronavirus uh, to combine uh, then uh, together to build a new virus that is itself could be very dangerous because uh, if you keep doing this over and over again uh, one day by accident you could uh, build a, a super infectious virus and uh, what if uh, they, it is also very lethal, like this experiment shows uh, uh, this, uh, one of the, these uh, virus uh, could be very lethal to the mice. This experiment itself is uh, very dangerous. It doesn't matter if this uh, fit into the definition of the gain of function research because uh, you, are, you, you use the artificial way to combine the genetic material from the different virus to build a new virus that itself could be very very dangerous what if you create a super infectious virus by accident and this super infectious virus also very lethal oh this is the question we need to ask our government especially uh, dr fauci <laughs> the mainstream media they never uh, show you the they never show you exactly what kind of experiment uh, this eco health alliance they're doing in wuhan in the uh in the institute of uh, biology and also the study from the nih uh, they all suggest the origin of the sars cov2 virus uh, was uh, from the uh, huanan wet market in wuhan so let me show you the google map as you can see uh, from this Google map, uh, this is a Wanan wet market uh, that NIH, uh, their study suggests the origin of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. However, uh, if you look up the Wuhan Institute of Biology, the lab, the Eco Health Alliance, they did their coronavirus uh, experiment uh, in the lab of the Wuhan Institute of Biology. Uh, how far away? from each other uh, it's only 25 minutes drive <laughs> is this a coincidence 
or not a coincidence. And uh, how come uh, the NIH, when they did investigation about the origin of the SARS-CoV-2, they always uh, rule out the possibility from the lab leak from the Wuhan Institute of Biology, where the Eco Health Alliance, they combined a gene from so many different coronavirus and to create a new kind of virus, uh, they always uh, rule out the possibility that this comes from the lab. I think this is the reasonable question to ask uh, to the Dr. Fauci and NIH. However, uh, mainstream media is uh, totally silent about this issue. So if you agree with me, we should know more uh, from the Dr. Fauci and the NIH uh, why the EcoHealth uh, Alliance, they did uh, this dangerous experiment just uh, nearby the origin uh, of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. They never considered the possibility the virus could from the lab in Wuhan Institute of Biology. Again, the YouTube has a very extreme censorship, so I have to rely on you to share my video. And also don't forget to click the like of my video so more people can see my video. Thank you for watching today's video. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.